Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Now here on the Go Get Yours Review channel, we enjoy reviewing the most weird and most unusual stuff. And today's no exemption. So lately we come across this Soyuz S7 Plus super small credit card phone. So yeah, I did buy this from Banggood.com a few weeks ago for around about £17. That's around 21 in US dollars. And there isn't much to say about the box itself, so well inside the box. First of all, uh, we have a USB to micro USB charge cable. There is a simple yet colourful quick operation instruction guide. And I think that's it really. What is that? <laughs> okay, check those cameras out. You think they all work? Yeah. I don't think so. But Oh, right, so they're not touch buttons. Okay, so um, yeah, it's certainly not. As thin as a credit card, I mean it measures around 90 by 50 by 7.5 millimeters. This unit does come in white, it also comes in black and green, and it is stated that it has a 400 milliamp hour battery, a 3 to 5 hours talk time use, with 6 days on standby. Let's have a look at some of the features. So to the bottom you can see we've got that micro USB charge port, we've got the speaker to the top, a lanyard insert just to the top right hand corner, a little pin microphone just to the left hand side, and to the rear we do indeed have a flash yes we do have a torch on this little uh, mobile phone and I'm not gonna say three cameras I'm gonna say the one single camera as cheap as this was being 17 pounds definitely not gonna get three cameras on this unit yes yeah, certainly got a iPhone look about it Ooh, look at that yeah and look at the front and with regards to the internals well this super small mobile phone is rocking a massive MTK6261M quad band CPU. Ooh, super power. Let's see if we've got any power at all. Welcome. So we've got some battery power. We've got three bars left. We've got the usual time, date, menu, names, and it's, oh, it's locked. What was the lock pattern now on the old mobile phones on the Nokia bricks? That's not the real time, guys. Uh, it does need setting. Oh, hang on a minute. It is backlit. Oh, let me just turn the lights off. Hang on. We do indeed have a backlit touchpad. Ooh, okay. And let's see what the key aspects are with this phone. So we got a little slide off compartment. It will be able to take, if you can see, your SIM card, a TF micro SD card, up to eight gigabytes. And that's done by pulling this top part forward, flipping it open and inserting it just like so. And we're gonna insert the memory card into that little inner slot. That's now in. Okay, so I had to restart the phone. Um, it's now connected. It does say T-Mobile, even though I'm connected to EE. And also the memory card is now inserted. So we've got phone book store your usual numbers you've got messaging so you've got inbox outbox drafts etc and your sms settings at the call center so you've got like call history and call settings we do have touch tones with this mobile phone as you can hear there is multimedia such as the camera so let's take a picture oh it's actually it's got zoom <laughs> now there's a selection button just behind in the middle and yeah there's what the picture looks like so it's pretty much washed out now let's have a look if all cameras are working nope so you got the single camera so these front two cameras don't work it's the top one that works let's block it off and see yep so only the top camera works the others are just for show so we got anti-flicker camera settings we've got white balance delay timer so you can do your little Selfies, quick, get back, get back, get back. And yeah, it looks to me like we just have still picture mode only. So the camera's not that great, to be honest, which is always expected with these type of phones. But we do indeed have an audio player. Ooh. Perfect, perfect. So yeah, not the best audio, I must admit. Now again, you can insert a headphone jack to the bottom via that micro USB charge cable, but the audio isn't that great to be honest, it's quite tinny. With the call quality, well let's test it out. Hello? Hello? Hi, hi mate, can you hear me? How's my voice? 
It's on speaker now. Right. How do I sound now with regards to the clarity? A bit muffled. I must admit the volume. See if you can turn it up. Oh, that's that nice nice volume. You do sound distant to me. The voice calls wasn't too bad. I mean, it was slightly muffled from the opposite end. And the volume on the speaker itself isn't that loud. So you've really got to push your ear against the speaker to hurt anyone when making calls. With text messaging, that's fine. Um, they were a bit fiddly, the buttons, to tell you the truth. We do have image viewer, so you can click through some of your saved images. Some images that won't show up, it would just basically come up in valid format. For example, videos, so you can't play any videos back on this uh, particular mobile phone. An FM radio. Hmm. Got an organizer. Oh, okay. We got torchlight. Let's see how bright it is. Look, it's like wordy back in the days. L ding 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 I ding 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 K ding 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 E ding ding ding. Like this radio. Wow, wordy back in the eighties used to freak me out, man. So yeah, we've got the usual things like the calendar. We've got an alarm. Oh, we have a, an alarm tone. Should we check it out? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Sounds like Prince of Persia, Santa Time. Oh, mm, nice beat. The best to be, the best way you can't miss me. Yes, I'm seeing yes, and I'm seeing no one. I'm seeing no with a bat to the front and a bat window. Don't you go back and don't see yes. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You just put the motherfucking back in the back of the Christmas and it's trying to make me shit. But it's motherfucking. Okay, that's enough of that now. You got a count for you guys, yay. We got some basic functions. We do have shortcuts, so press down to access camera. Left for inbox messaging. Right to choose your profile, so you can choose silence, meeting, outdoor, etc. And up for the music player. Yeah, it doesn't have games. It doesn't have internet access or anything like that. There isn't any Bluetooth connectivity whatsoever. What would you really do with this phone? I mean, that's the question. Is it just a breakdown phone? Because you break down, you've got no battery life left in your day-to-day -day mobile phone. It's a quirky gimmick. It is credit card side. Well, so it says so on the Banggood website. Let's just check that out. Definitely the size of a credit card, but it's obvious that it's not gonna be as thin. But what would I give this mobile phone out of my usual rating out of 10? I mean, to be honest, it is a bit of a gimmick. It's just like the mini Pepsi mobile phone, which we recently reviewed on our channel. So within a quirky, not too serious mobile phone category, we're gonna be generous today. I'm gonna to give it a three out of 10 mini cameras. I mean, camera, it's not too great. It's not really useful. You've not really got many functions which you're going to use from day to day and you certainly won't want to be seen out and about with this phone. It's straight out of a gimmicky gadget shop, straight off the rails and it belongs right back within this box. Now I will leave a link for this size 7S Plus within the video description down below. Go and take a look if you wish and if you do like what you see, um, well go get yours. While you're there guys, I'd very much appreciate it if you smash that like button. Please subscribe, making sure you hit that bell notification option so you guys stay updated on all my new uploads. Now I hope to see you guys on my new reviews, there's a lot coming this week so stay tuned for them. And well, thanks for watching. Peace!